could have written something now to help me with this video, but I didn't, so it'll be fine. So, I needed something to post, and I couldn't think of anything to talk about, so I'm gonna tell you how I became an artist. It seems like a good idea to just start from the beginning, so... I've been drawing at least a little bit since I was a kid, because my parents were always trying to make sure we had lots of stuff to draw with, since they really promoted creativity and stuff. I didn't really get into it until I was, well, I'm not sure if that's true. I liked it a lot in middle school, and then I got really into it right before high school. I remember being in, like, Sunday school class in church and always having my little sketchbook with me and just doodling stuff and thinking it just looked so great. Uh, I wonder if I actually have any of those drawings. They were so messy, but I was super proud of them. And I gave everything pointy ears because I want everything to be an elf. I'm not sure why. Or maybe I wanted them all to be fairies. I, I know I give a lot of stuff fairy wings. Huh. Yeah. I drew all the time in church because I was a kid who had to sit through an hour-long service and I didn't have an attendance span for that, so I just drew in my sketchbook practically the whole time. Which probably ended up helping me a lot once I actually decided to really try and get into art. So, guess I'm glad I did that. See, I think, and I remember thinking, wow, I really want to get good at drawing, and I really like this, was, like, the summer before high school, maybe, I think? I think it was the summer before high school, but I might be wrong. It might have been, no, that was it. I downloaded these little tutorial drawing apps on my phone, because they looked adorable, and the little characters were on them were characters I loved a lot. So I followed like five to ten of those little tutorials just flipping through my phone. Remember I brought a little stack of notebook paper back to my room and put it on my desk so that I could just do that all day. And I enjoyed that a lot, but then I wanted to draw my own stuff, so I think I only used that up maybe ten or fifteen times, which is a lot, but then after that I just kind of completely stopped using it, even though I intended to use it a lot more, and just started drawing whatever I wanted, which was a lot of fun. All of my drawings were super stiff and inconsistent, but I enjoyed them a lot. And then, let's see, I know I had like an old sketchbook that I'd had since I was a kid that my mom bought for me for long airplane rides and stuff. So I started drawing in that constantly, and then I ran out of paper, and I would buy just multiple sketchbooks at a time. They were all horrible, low-quality sketchbooks with really thin paper, but I thought they were awesome. And I just kept filling up sketchbooks and having fun. And then, let's see, I went to school, and I had been homeschooled my whole life, so this was my first time having to like sit through classes and stuff, so I drew in most of those. Which my teachers quickly noticed, and so sometimes they'd be like, okay, we're actually doing work now, put down your sketchbook. I just remembered the whole first two years of high school drawing was just always what I did in my free time. Like, I'd, I'd end up putting off my homework for it. Not too much, I was, I was pretty good about getting my homework done back then. But I, drawing was what I first went to whenever I had any free time. And it was super fun, and I kind of miss it, since even though I still have a lot of fun drawing, I don't think I do it quite as much, even though I was I'm a lot better at drawing now. And I've been enjoying it more recently. And my family also had a Wacom tablet that they bought a while ago. I used it a lot when we first bought it, not to really draw anything coherent, just because we had this weird drawing program on our computer that I think kind of came with the tablet that just had a bunch of weird brushes that weren't super functional, but I just thought they were the funnest thing ever and I would just go through the drawing program and just draw squiggles with all the weird brushes. I had a lot of fun with that. I think I only drew, like, coherent pictures, like, maybe twice. <laughs> But once I started getting super into drawing in high school, I think I downloaded a nicer, somewhat nicer, I think it was Spiral Pack. It was Spiral Pack that I first used. And I downloaded that art program and I started attempting to make art in that. It wasn't great when I first did it, and well, it's still not great. <laughs> but 
it's come really, really, really far. Oh, I don't even want to think about what I first did. It was so sloppy and messy and yikes. But I really liked the digital art tablet, even though it was really weird to get used to. I'd say I've done mostly traditional art. I've probably done way more traditional art than I've done digital art, actually, but I'm trying to get more into drawing digital art now. I used to want to do art full-time when I got older, but now I'm not sure. I still want to do it, I just don't know if I want it to be my primary job. I want to make comics someday, which I think, I just think that'd be super fun, but I don't know if I even have the attention span to draw multiple panels. I, I'm very easily distracted. And there was also, I think last year, I didn't draw for like the middle of it. I started drawing a lot more near the end, and I drew at the beginning, but in the middle I just hardly drew at all because I was stressed and I just didn't feel like it anymore. But then I suddenly got back into it, and I'm better than I ever was, and it's a lot of fun. I think that pretty much sums up everything. I'm sorry if it didn't make any sense. I tried. Thanks for watching. Bye.